just a few more corduroy, and all our chores will be finished. What's a chore? We Work. But is this work? Kind of. But it doesn't have to be. <laughs> Get on! <laughs> this must be a trampoline. I've always wanted to jump on a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, something's falling from the sky. Huh? It's snowing. Wow! Come on, Corduroy. We can get a better look on the fire escape. Where's the fire? No fire, Mom. Snow! Winter is here! Winter! Winter is the coldest season of the year. It comes after autumn and before spring. Are you cold? Uh-uh. We'll have to find some mittens and boots for you, Corduroy. And a coat, too. I think some of my old stuff will fit you. Watch this. Oh, snow is cold. All snowflakes are unique. They never look exactly alike. They're beautiful. Too bad snow just tastes like water. Wouldn't it be great if... Instead of snow falling from the sky, we had ice cream cones. There would be hundreds of different flavors. Chocolate chip, bubble gum, toffee cream, raspberry ripple. Mmm. Mmm. You know what, Corduroy? All this snow is giving me a craving for... Ice cream? Corduroy would like some too, please. Wouldn't you, Corduroy? Yes, please. Ice cream in winter? That's a first. Well, you might as well check the freezer. Hmm, let's see. Ice cubes, ugh, frozen peas and corn, pizza dough, leftover stew. Oh no! Mom, there's no ice cream in the freezer. Can we go to the store and buy some? I'm busy right now. There's all this ironing to do. But I can go get it. The sweet shop's just down the street, and they'll only get cones. It'll be our afternoon snack. Oh, I forgot to go to the bank today. How about using your allowance? I, uh... I spent all my allowance, Mom. Already? But I gave you that money yesterday. Well, um, I... <laughs> I take it your allowance went to buying that fancy hair clip. Lisa, really? It's winter. A cup of hot cocoa makes more sense. But there's always time for ice cream. Please, Mom. Well, since you spent all your allowance already... Yes? I guess you'll have to just use a little initiative. Huh? Lisa, if you want ice cream, you'll have to figure out a way to earn the money to pay for it yourself. How am I going to earn enough money to buy ice cream? I'm too young to babysit. And I don't have a bike, so I can't make deliveries. <laughs> Look, Lisa! I made a snowball! Whoa! <laughs> Here, I'll help you up. Oh, snow is cold, but it's soft, too. Hey, Corduroy, you're making snow angels. See? Snow angels. Oh, the snow is fun to play in, but it's slippery to walk on. That's it. I can earn money by shoveling snow. I'm sure we can ask our neighbors if they'd like their sidewalks and steps cleaned off. Hi, Pandro. 
Hey, Lisa. Hi, Corduroy. May we borrow a shovel? Sure, I guess. What do you need a shovel for? Shoveling snow. Corduroy and I are going to earn money for ice cream. That's a good idea. Ice cream isn't free, but... Snow cones are. Get it? Snow cones? <laughs> shovel, shovel. Ah, here. Perfect size for you, too. Thanks. Say, how about I be your first customer? It can get pretty icy out on the front steps, and I wouldn't want any of the tenants to fall. Deal? Deal. Excellent. I love winter, but I've never liked shoveling snow. Thanks. Here you are. Thank you. You know what? I think I've earned enough money to buy an ice cream cone for me and my teddy bear corduroy. You've come to the right place. We've got lots of flavors. Chocolate marshmallows, strawberry cheesecake, French vanilla, caramel crunch, pistachio. That must be the North Pole. I've always wanted to visit the North Pole. The North Pole must be very cold, or else all this ice cream would melt. Ice cream cones, ice cream sundaes, ice cream floats. This must be a dream. I'm dreaming of ice cream. How does that look? Delicious. Hold on to this, please, while I scoop up your other cone. Oh, Corduroy, I can taste the ice cream already. We worked really hard for this. We sure did. You know what? I believe you actually have enough money for two triple scoop ice cream cones. Really? We can have two cones with three scoops of ice cream, or... Ta-da! We have three cones with two scoops of ice cream. All this ice cream? How did you get the money? I used initiative, just like you asked. Corduroy and I cleared the snow off people's steps and sidewalks. We did our apartment building, Moppy's mom's restaurant, the grocery store across the street, the... I'm proud of you, Lisa. You work so hard. You must be very tired. Nope, I'm not tired. I'm hungry for ice cream. We got this cone as a surprise for you, Mom. Unless... Unless what? Unless you still think it's weird to want to eat ice cream in the winter. <laughs> I see now that ice cream is for any time. Thanks for treating your old mom. The ice cream is melting, Lisa. Well, we worked hard earning the money to pay for these ice cream cones. Now we better get working on eating them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. What more could a bear ask for? Coming up next on Elliot Moose. What happened here, Mr. 
Paisley? She came in and drew before he could move, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. I hear you're pretty fast on the draw. Some say so, stranger. I didn't catch your name. They call me Annie Soxley. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Cuddle up with Corduroy at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. And now get crazy with Bookworm Bunch. Boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Giddy and foolish all day long. Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? Boom, boom, ain't it great to be crazy? PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Klutz? Klutz? Klutz is a proud supporter of learning, education, and Dessert. <laughs> and PBS Kids. Bookworm. Yeah. Bunch. Bunch. Klutz, where every kid is perfect. Don't go away. He loves to share and always cares. Elliot Moose is next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Elliot Moose is on the loose. 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 Elliot! Elliot Moose is on the loose. Have you seen Elliot? Elliot Moose is on the loose. Hey, Elliot! Elliot Moose is on the loose. Today's show is about friends cooperating. <laughs> Folks said Rainbow Gulch was a brown and white kind of town. A town without any local color. And they were right. And then he rode into town. Rainbow Gulch. That's a funny name. Rainbows have color in them, but this town is all brown and white. I hope they're ready for Kid Crayon. 
One orange smoothie, Mr. Paisley. And one for me, too, please. Two orange smoothies coming up. Howdy, stranger. You must be thirsty. Ready for some juice? I'm ready to draw. I beg your pardon. Don't move, partner. What do you think? <laughs> it looks just like me. Anyone else want to see me draw? Me! Me! me. Well, we liked him and he liked us. We convinced him to stay and we made him sheriff. Yep, those were the good old days. Then she rode into town. Two more orange smoothies coming up. Howdy, stranger. You must be thirsty. Ready for some juice? Sheriff Crayon! Sheriff Crayon! Howdy, Mobadiah. There's trouble at Mr. Paisley's juice bar. You better get over there right away. Thanks, Mobadiah. Here's something for your trouble. Hmm. Seems quiet enough. What happened here, Mr. Paisley? She came in and drew before we could move, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. I hear you're pretty fast on the draw. Some say so, stranger. I didn't catch your name. They call me Annie Soxley. Nice meeting you. Well, from that day on, things got a little tense in Rainbow Gulch. Huh? Annie Soxley painted wherever she liked. Of course, Sheriff Elliot cleaned it up. He thought her paintings made the town look messy. But as fast as he could clean up the walls, Annie painted right over them again. Oh, no! That does it. Hey, Annie Soxley! I know you're in there. Come on out. You should try the banana smoothie. It's delicious. Annie, the walls of this town aren't big enough for the both of us. Let's find out who is the fastest draw of all. If you win, I'll leave town. But if I win, you have to clean up. Delicious. Ready when you are, Sheriff. We'll count down. One, two, three, four, five, draw! are really good. Hmm, not bad. I like this. Looks like a tie. What are we going to do? Only one thing we can do. How'd you like to be my deputy? Really? I'd love to. Hooray! Hooray! Well, sir, from that day on, the Sheriff and Annie have been the closest of friends. And Rainbow Gulch has been a beautiful place to live. Should have moved. 
move sideways out of my way. I can't move sideways. I'm on a track. But what are you doing on a track? Oh, I'm a train. Chug, chug, chug. Woo, woo. Chug, chug, chug. Rum, chug, 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 chug. Huh? <laughs> Soaking sandalwood, did I give you a good splash? You can't splash someone on a road. Road? What road? I'm a boat on a river. <laughs> You were supposed to make us all cars. I got tired of making cars, so I made a plane, then a train, then a boat. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I thought we were going to play being cars, but everybody's really playing by themselves. Everybody is having fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> I guess Beaverton is right. I guess you don't all have to play the same game. So I'm going to have fun being a car. Beep beep. Rum. Rum, rum. Ooh, you're in my way. Move. Beep beep. Excuse me, you're in the road. Your train is going to get awfully wet. It's not much fun when everybody's in your way. Excuse me, you're in my way. My engine's going to stall. Clear the track, please. Elliot, you're blocking the river. It's a red light. I have to wait till it turns green. Clear the track, please. much fun when everybody's in your way. Maybe Elliot was right. We should all be cars. But I look like a plane. I can't be a car. I guess this game is over. Wait a minute. Don't give up. Why don't we all be something together? We could be a brand new car plane boat train. What's, What's a, a car, car plane, plane boat train? train? That's a car that can turn into a plane and a boat and a train. A car plane boat a train. Wow! Sounds like fun. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, fasten your seatbelts, please. Click. We're going for a car ride in our brand new car plane boat a train. Are we there yet? I feel car plane boat a train sick. Hold on. Our car plane boat a train is going to change to a plane. One, two, three. <laughs> Prepare for a takeoff. I'm ready. Wings out. Oh, look, everything down there is so small. I hope there's a movie on this plane. And maple berry snacks, too. It's getting bumpy. Let's change to a boat. One, two, three. <laughs> Life jackets, everybody! There we go! Uh, uh, <laughs> not so fast. I don't want to get splashed. This car plane boat train is a good idea. It's fun when we're all playing together. Let's stop at the station and have a train ride. One, two, three. <laughs> all aboard. Woo, woo. <laughs> all aboard the Friends train. What's that? <laughs> Professor McPaisley! What is it, Elliot? There's something out there. I'm sure of it. Quick, get the camera ready. People always talk about the Loch Ness Monster, but no one's ever taken a picture of it. Until today. Here it comes. I'm ready. 
Amazing! That's not the Loch Ness Monster. No, it's my best friend, Socks. Elliot! And that's Beaverton with her. I guess they wanted to visit me. Elliot, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you don't get a picture of the Loch Ness Monster by tonight, I'll have to let you go back to town with your friends. I need a photographer who can get the picture I need. That's all right, Professor McPaisley. I understand. Elliot! 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 It's us! us! How come you look so sad? Well, Professor McPaisley just told me that if I don't get a picture of the Loch Ness Monster by tonight, he's going to fire me. That's not fair. It's not up to you if the monster appears or not. I know. I have to get back to the camera in case the monster pops its head out of the water. We've got to help Elliot somehow. But how? We can't make the monster appear. I know. Or can we? Come on, we have to move our boat. What's that? There's something out there. I'm sure of it. It's getting closer. I got it! Professor McPaisley! Professor McPaisley! Well, what do you think? Elliot, this could be the picture the whole world's been waiting for. Hmm. Very interesting skeleton. Looks a lot like a monkey and a beaver, don't you think? Yes. I think your friends are trying to play a trick on me, but it won't work. If you haven't got a picture of the real monster by tonight, you'll have to leave. What's that? Something's out there. Socks! Beaverton! It didn't work! Professor McPaisley knows it was you. How did he guess? He didn't guess. He used his computer. Socks! Uh, yes? You're both here. Where else would we be? But if you're both here, then what's out there? for the same trick twice, do you? It's not a trick. Hmm. Take a look in your computer. Well, if it is a joke, we'll soon find out. That's no trick. That's real. You did it. You got a picture of the Loch Ness Monster. Yay! 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 We're sorry you thought we were trying to trick you, Professor McPaisley. We were really only trying to help Elliot. I know that now. He's lucky to have such good friends. I can't believe he got a picture of the monster! He got pictures of two monsters. I did? Yes. The Loch Ness Monster and the Socks Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Socks, you try. Okay. Good. Now do this. Watch carefully. This is tricky. Eh? 
If you want to, I'm going to make mud pies. Anyway, I don't like that game. You don't like it? Everybody likes Follow the Leader. Uh huh. Everybody. But I. Uh, 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 uh. Just do what we do. Okay. Here, Here we, we go. go. Follow the leader. Well, have fun. It's more fun if you play too. Fun for you two, maybe. But the things you do are too hard for me. But there is a way you can play, Paisley. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. But how? Well, instead of you following Socks and me, we can follow you. Really? Yes, really. What's easy for us isn't easy for you. But if you're the leader, then we can play the kind of game I can play. Oh boy, ready? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, follow me. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. Oh, 
ghost right outside my house. Tomorrow, I'm calling Detective Elliot Moose. I hardly slept all night. It went on all night? No, it stopped after a while. I was just too frightened to go back to sleep. And sleep is very important to a farmer. You have to get up early to do your chores, don't you? Yes. This is mapleberry season. If I don't get my sleep, the mapleberries won't get picked. Do you hear that, Dr. Soxon? If we don't solve this case quickly, there may be no mapleberries. Farmer Beaverton, we'll meet you here tonight. Are you sure you didn't just dream it, Farmer Beaverton? I'm positive. I think. Well, it's getting late, and the squeakly ghost hasn't shown up. We'd better be going. <gasps> there it is! Come on, Dr. Soxer. We've got to see the squiggly ghost for ourselves. <laughs> calling my name. I've actually seen a ghost. I told you. What do you think, Detective Elliot? There must be some explanation. We'll have to look for clues. Tonight? Tonight? No, let's wait until tomorrow. Um, I want to ask your neighbor if he's seen the ghost. <sighs> no, I haven't seen any ghosts out here. But go ahead and look for clues if you want to. Thank you, Farmer Paisley. It's usually dancing above the hedge. We'll look there. Hmm. Do you see any clues, Dr. Soxon? Any footprints? Candy wrappers? Nothing, Detective Elliot. The squeakly ghost must be real. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see if it comes back tonight. Well, it's getting late. We farmers have to get our sleep. Maybe the squeakly ghost will show up tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night! night. <sighs> We'd better be going too, Dr. Soxon. Be sure to let us know if you see the squeakly ghost again, Farmer Beaverton. I don't understand it. We've all seen it with our own eyes. I'll never forget that strange sound of ow! <laughs> Dr. Soxon, what's wrong? I stepped on something. Oh, a clothespin. Where did this come from? It must have fallen off Farmer Paisley's line. I'll give it back to him in the morning. Hmm. Detective Elliot, what's wrong? Dr. Soxon, Farmer Beaverton, the squeakly ghost is about to appear. <gasps> Quick, we must go to Farmer Paisley's at once. Farmer Paisley! Ah! It was you! What was me? The squeakly ghost! It was? Yes. This clothespin helped me solve the case. The squeakly ghost! It's the sheet on your laundry line! <laughs> I've been meaning to fix that squeak. It just started the other day. Dr. Soxon, hmm? the case of the squeakly ghost is closed. Yay! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Remember, good friends cooperate with each other. See you next time. Coming up next on Timothy Goes to School. It's time for your imagination to soar. Express yourself at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. 
Sing along with Bookworm Bunch. You gotta sing when your spirit says sing. You gotta sing when your spirit says sing. When your spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. Gotta sing when your spirit says sing. You gotta shout when your spirit says shout. You gotta shout when your spirit says shout. When your spirit says shout, gotta shout right out loud. Gotta shout when your spirit says shout. You gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. Gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. When your spirit says wiggle, gotta wiggle like a worm. Gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. When your spirit says shake, gotta shake like a snake. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. You gotta stop. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Klaus is a proud supporter of learning, education, and, and PBS Kids Bunchworm. Um, Bunch. Plutz, where every kid is perfect. Don't go away. There's a lot to learn when Timothy goes to school. Coming up next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. What's your favorite color? Blue! PBS Kids! I can't stop reading! School, one way, bakery, pizza, circus. No dogs allowed, eat, open, stop. I can't stop reading! PBS Kids! PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. It's a brand new day, so come on and play in a world that's waiting. Much to do at school, and you can do anything if you try with friends like Timothy by your side. There's a new adventure in everything we do. We'll all be together, and you can come too when Timothy goes to school.
Where's my red shirt? I had it on yesterday. And the day before that. It's dirty. Time to change into something new, Nora. I don't want to change. It's my favorite. Nora? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. I don't like this shirt. Now, Nora, it's a lovely shirt. Jack likes it. <laughs> huh? I don't want waffles, Mama. I want my Thunder Roller Rice Flakes. They're my favorite. I thought waffles would make a nice change. <gasps> I don't want change. you doing? It's time to paint the upstairs. Oh, can I hold the brushes? Sure you can. We'll start with your room. <gasps> what do you think, Nora? Cherry bomb red or brilliant blue? But I like my room this way. Hmm. Don't change that. Change that! <gasps> oh, Dad, please don't change that! I promise to put it back just the way you like it. It'll all be different. Well, you might like it. I won't like it. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! Not right now, Nora, dear. Jack needs changing. Ah, more change! I don't like it! Let's button your coat, dear. It looks like it's going to rain. Mama, why do things have to change? If things didn't change, you'd still be a baby like Jack. Everything changes. Except for the school bus. That's always the same. Hello, Nora. Hi, Henry. Ready for another day at school? Yes, I am. Hey, that's my seat. <laughs> well, the Franks are feeling bus sick today. <laughs> so they're sitting up front this morning. But I always sit here. <clears throat> Wanna play on the swings when we get to school? Huh? Promise you'll push? Sure, I'm a good pusher. You'll have to push hard. I want to go really high. Okay. Race you to the swings, Doris. <laughs> Change my mind. I can push. <sighs> okay. <sighs> hey, that's my hook. No, it isn't. I always hang my coat on that hook. <sighs> it's broken. Hmm. You better change to another hook until I can fix it. Tree. Hello, well done wall. Hello, dress up corner. <laughs> Some things don't change. Everybody ready? Let's sing the welcome song. Not the same, but with 
different names And there's so many things that we're gonna do You might feel a little bit shy But we all feel that way sometimes It's a new adventure It's a brand new day Anything can happen when we laugh Well done, everyone, especially Nora. This is a special day at Hilltop School, children. It's Musical Chairs Day. I'm going to play the piano. When the music stops, sit down on the chair you're closest to. But I like my chair. Maybe you'll like a different chair. Why don't we give it a try? Quick sticks! <laughs> I nearly got your seat, Nora. is wobbly. My mom showed me how to fix a wobbly table. You take a napkin... I can't you... see the chalkboard from way back here. But there's nothing on the chalkboard, Nora. This chair is too hard. Well, you want to trade chairs? No. What are you making? Angry crocodiles. Guess what I'm making? A big mess. Okay, what is it? It's a tree. You want to see? Wow! It can shade your crocodiles from the hot sun. <laughs> I want to make one too. It's easy. Great trees for my crocodiles, Lily. Musical chairs, everyone. <gasps> oh, bye, Nora. Bye, Lily. <laughs> lunch boxes out and open, please, boys and girls. It's time for lunch. Nora, lucky you. You have your old chair back. I liked sitting with Lily. But at lunchtime, I always sit next to Doris. Doris has vanilla pudding. I have yakitori today. Hey! What's that? Mama puts a surprise in my lunchbox every day. Wow! I love surprises. Maybe I've got a surprise in my lunchbox, too! Nope. Just peanut butter and honey. You can have my surprise if you like. Thanks, Yoko. It's even better than vanilla pudding. Recess. Everyone outside. <laughs> I'm going to play on the swing. No, we are. No, I am. No, we are. No, I am. Ooh, you're a good shouter. Yeah, you're the best shouter. No, I am. No. Big voices outside, please. Yes, I can! No, you can! Higher! Higher! Whoa! You guys are even better than Doris! Oh. Hey, Nora, try this for a change. <laughs> what a great chance! <laughs> Goodbye, children. Thank you for another wonderful day. Can we play musical chairs tomorrow, too? How about we try something different tomorrow? Okay!
okay? I saved your seat for you, Nora. Thanks, Henry, but I'm going to sit in the back with Lily. played musical chairs, and I made friends with Lily, and we went on the merry-go-round, and the Franks pushed us so fast. How exciting. Uh-huh. And I got a surprise. Oh, can I have yakitori tomorrow instead of peanut butter and honey? And can I play with Lily after school? Of course you can, dear. Who wants to see your new bedroom? Oh, I do! I do! Ta-da! It's exactly the same as before. That's right. I found the same color of paint in the basement and put everything back just the way you like it. I didn't change a thing. Why not? Okay, Charles, now we need the small screwdriver. Eh, that should fix it. Let's see if it works. Now you can reach the toast all by yourself. Charles, look who's here. It's Auntie B. For the top. No thanks. I'm playing. What are you doing? Did you build this all by yourself? Uh huh. Those are helped. like to play with anybody. He's shy. Hmm. He wasn't shy at recess. All ears, children. I want to show you the school safety alarm. We only pull it if there is an emergency. If the alarm bell goes off, it will get everyone's attention. When we hear it, 
We form a straight line and march right outside. Let's practice. No running, Frank. No pushing, Frank. That's right, children. Quick sticks out the door. Well done, Charles. Just like in a real emergency. I'm right behind you. Bow to the left. Bow to the right. Now circle round and round. <gasps> Yeehaw! Yeah! <laughs> now go the wrong way round. And children. Ready, Yoko? Ready, Timothy? Ready, Mrs. Jenkins? In and out you go. Claude and Grace, you do see -si do <laughs> Swing your partner round and round. Swing your partner. <laughs> wow, Frank's feet are off the ground. Huh? <laughs> Yeehaw! <gasps> Swing your partner. Square dancing's fun. Now it's your turn, Doris. Charles! What are you doing in there? I'd hide too if I had to dance with Doris. <laughs> Don't be shy! Oh! Ugh. Charles won't dance. Don't you want to dance, Charles? All right, you sit this one out. No! Nora can take your place. Okay. Yahoo! Swing your partner! Hmm. Beat that. There. Hello? Oh, yes, he is. It's for you, Charles. Go ahead, son. Hi, Charles. It's Timothy. Hi, Timothy. I found some great stuff for building. I'll bring them into school tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Watch out below! <laughs> Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Timothy, Charles, recess is over! Already? Come on, boys! Time for soccer! Charles won't play. Come on, let's go! Timothy, Charles, you're on Nora's team. All right, we're on the same team. It'll be fun. And Charles? Well, why don't you play goal, huh?
But what, what happened to Charles? Where's Charles? What do you want to play with him for? He doesn't like to play. Yes, he does. Hi, Henry. Well, hello, Timothy. Have you seen Charles? Hmm. Charles, are you in there? Nope, no Charles. <laughs> you in here? Nope. <laughs> I did see him in the coat room a while ago. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Three, two, one, blast off! There you are. Uh-huh. Wow, great rocket ship. Can I fly it too? Let's go to the moon. We're going to the moon. Hmm. We need a flag for when we land on the moon. I'll be right back. Roger over and out. Hey. Wow, great flag. I'd better ask Henry. 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 Timothy! Charles, I'm locked in! Don't worry! I know what to do! Oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. no! Oh my, an emergency! Were you frightened? Only a little bit. Charles saved me. Thanks. Charles did the right thing, pulling the emergency alarm. He knew what to do. Thank you, Charles. I think someone deserves to be Hilltop School's first safety monitor. You're a hero. A superhero. Yay, Charles! Cleaning up yourselves, then going to the parade you can. Oh, five. Can't you do anything right? Again with the plastering walls. Mm. It was all five's fault. He's run away. What were your exact words? I wished he'd never been born. And my fellow detectives, where are babies born? I don't see five in there. <laughs> To learn more about Timothy's friends at school, visit the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. Dance a jig with Bookworm Bunch! I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street. Very good friend, a chance to meet. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Rig a jig jig and away we go, away we go, away we go. Rig a jig jig and away we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Tapped our hands and stomped our feet.
PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Clutch is a... Clutch is a proud... Proud... Supporter of Learning Education and PBS Kids Bookworm. Clutch. Clutz, where every kid is perfect. Stick around. Seven little monsters make big trouble times seven. Up next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. The mystery box, what can it be? Is it a party? Maybe you'll see. The mystery box, guess what's inside? If you guessed it, maybe you're right. Jump right inside, there's plenty of space. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. through the door. Sorry! Can't you do anything right? Now we're stuck. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Excuse me. Excuse me, make way for oh. a lady. Oh. Mm, pardon me. I must freshen up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A fluffy wing is a happy wing. <laughs> a shiny schnozzle is a happy schnozzle. I say, using my incredible powers of deduction and detective skill, I can see that you, my friend, have a very big nose. Really? How do you know that, Three? Detective Three, if you don't mind. It's elementary, my dear Two. I looked at your face and couldn't help but notice that it had something in the center of it slightly below your eyes, and somewhat above your mouth. I deduced it was a nose, and by comparing it to my own nose, I deduced it was big. Therefore, you, my friend, have a very big nose. Use your own 
wall mirror. Sorry. What a handsome devil. And now, the hair. Five, use your own hairbrush. Sorry. Has anybody seen my Winty Minty toothpaste? Whoopsie. You aren't supposed to eat the toothpaste. How many times do I have to tell you? You're supposed to brush with it and then spit it out. Where is my toothbrush? Five, have you been using my toothbrush to clean your ankles again? Five, you are such a pain in the neck. Stop that. Why am I always stuck looking after you? Gosh, four. It's because he's five. Four comes before five. In that case, why doesn't five look after six? <laughs> I don't need looking after. Someone as beautiful as me needs to be looked at. Watch it, six. You're getting me with it. But you smell good. Four, you have to watch out for five. He's your responsibility. He was only born ten seconds after me. Well, never mind. Let's go until we're ready to go to the parade. <laughs> That's it. Five, leave me alone. Leaplings! Come along, my kinderlings. Time is flying. One foot first and one foot after. That's the way we get there faster. One goes left and one goes right. Seven little monsters on our side. Seven little monsters in a row. Now off to the parade we go. Oh, such shiny, clean kinderlings. One, such fluffy wings. Thank you, Mama. A squeaking clean schnozzle, my little toucan. So like your papa. Very spiffy three. Detective three, my good lady. Hmm. This pipe is no good. Smoking is bad for a body. Never fear. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <gasps> My little five is such a good boy. And such shiny ankles. <laughs> ah, flower smelling six. It's odor des étoiles. That means the smell of the stars. <laughs> Golly, do the stars really smell like flowers, Mama? No seven, my Blimska. They smell like six. Mwah! But wait, where is my four being? Oh no, again with the plastering walls. <laughs> four. It wasn't my fault. The hurrying leads to falls through the walls. Less hurrying for, more carefully. But I was going to be ready on time. It was all Five's fault. First, he ate my sparkling toothpaste. And then, he polished his ankles and tore out the sink. And, well, Five is driving me crazy! Five, stop that! I'm mad at you! <laughs> yes, you! I'm tired of looking after you, Five. Sometimes I wish you weren't my brother at all. In fact, I wish you had never been born. <gasps> These cats. Four, saying this is not nice being.
Gee whiz, Four. You hurt Five's feelings. That wasn't very nice, Four. What? He deserved it. Four! is just as someone little who needs his big brother Four to look after him. But Mama, he's such a pain. No, but Mom, you are lucky to have a brother who loves you as much as Five is loving you. If he wasn't here, missing him is you. I suppose. Exact. Now, you are soaring up Five before anyone goes parading. <gasps> Yes, Mom. Oh! What I must be doing again? Bye bye, Mom. Ta ta, bye bye, bye Mom. Cheerio! We won't be home late. He's gone! Five! He's run away! What? Are you sure? Let's not be too hasty, my good man. First, we have to study the clues in this case. Only then can we decide what's happened. Clues? Where are we going to find clues? We can't even find five. Elementary, my dear Seven. Only by searching for clues can we solve this mystery. A clue is a fact that tells us what has happened. It's like the pieces of a puzzle. When we have all the pieces and put the puzzle together, we can solve the mystery. <laughs> so, we have to look for clues, Three? Elementary, my dear one. If we search for clues, we will solve this mystery. For a mystery, it is. I will call it the mystery of the missing five. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's search for clues. Absolutely. Let us search. <gasps> We're going to miss the parade. Parade? How can you think about parades when Five is missing? He's all alone somewhere. He's probably frightened and miserable. <laughs> hmm. A good boy. We must be careful not to destroy any evidence. We must keep the scene of the crime from being disturbed in any way. I say, how rude. My trombone! I was wondering where I left it. <gasps> Hi. We've lost five. If you see him, will you let us know? Well, I'd like to stay and play. But I've got to get back to my body now. Could you toss me my head? Nice toe! 
So, we searched everywhere? Everywhere. Right. Excellent. So, what clues did we find? Hmm. I was afraid of that. No clues, no evidence of a struggle. Oh, this is a devilish, difficult mystery. This is getting us nowhere. <sighs> oh, poor Five. I didn't mean for you to go away. <sighs> I wish you were back here right now. Of course. How foolish of me. What did you tell Five to do? Why? What were your exact words? I said I didn't like Five anymore. And? I wished he wasn't my brother anymore. Anything <gasps> else? I wished he'd never been born. Aha! Aha uh -huh, what? Don't you see? Four said he wished Five had never been born. And, my fellow detectives, where are babies born? Hmm. The hospital. Precisely. Therefore... Five has gone to the hospital. Elementary, my dear Six. To the hospital. <clears throat> Hold your horses, I'll be right with you. Were we supposed to bring horses? My good lady nurse, we are looking for a missing person, and we need your assistance. Who do I look like, Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Why, no. I look like Sherlock Holmes. <gasps> I like your hat. Um, thanks. Look, I'm very busy here. What is it you want? Babies. Rabies. Second floor. No. Babies. Cooties, third floor. No! Babies! You know, wee, wee, wee. I'm a little baby! Yeah. I want my rattle. Goo, goo, gaga. Uh oh, my diaper's all wet. Oh, babies! Why didn't you just say so in the first place? Maternity ward, fifth floor. The fifth floor! As in five! At last, a break in the case. We're hot on the trail, lads. Follow me! Hey! Hold the door, please. Thanks. No problem. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Could uh, someone push four, please? Hey! Get off! Yeah. Oh! Seven, what did you do that for? But he said to push four. Okay. Thanks. Anytime. <laughs> oh no. Two is gonna sneeze. Dad Zooks, hold it in, man. <laughs> oh. 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 Bye, bye. 
burn. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> this would seem to be the place Five would come if he wanted to give himself back. I don't see Five in there. Can I help you, uh, people? We're looking for my brother. I'll check my chart. What's his name? Five. Five? Five. His name is Five? That's a funny name. It's been in the family for five generations. Five generations of fives. Yeah. That's 25 altogether. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm sorry. There are no fives listed. What does he look like? He's about this tall. And he has a big number five on his shirt. Like this. Except mine is a seven. I'm sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. Are you sure? Maybe you could check. You seem to have an awful lot of babies in there. How many are there? At the moment, there are 39. Ugh. You didn't just say 39. Having 39 things can be awfully nice. Like 39 lovely cubes of ice. To cool these 39 lovely drinks. I have a gold necklace with 39 wings. Yes, you could spend a lot of time singing about old 39. But if you really want to feel like heaven, please, 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 please remember number seven. Hey! Okay, bye, bye. I can't believe it. I was sure that the mystery had been solved. Drat! We've lost five, and it's all my fault. It's not your fault, Four. It is! I told him I didn't want him to be my brother anymore! You didn't mean it, Four. I wish I could take it all back! <laughs> and Five was here right now! <laughs> Gosh, Four, don't cry. I'll start crying, too. <laughs> oh, you can't. Such a sad mystery this has turned out to be. All this crying is going to ruin my beautiful complexion. <laughs> What's going on? Gee whiz, the parade is coming. <laughs> Why, well, I've really wanted to see the parade. You remember what Five said when he found out we were going to the parade? How could I forget? He said, Parade! <laughs> he was so happy. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Clown. We'll set this straight right away. Don't worry. Excuse me. <laughs> Who does your makeup? <gasps> oh, five, five, five. Where did you go? A little to the left, too. Whoa! <clears throat> your left, too, not my left. Oh, five, five, five. Where did you go? <sighs> Quit it, five. <sighs> oh, five. Where could you be? Cut it out, five. Can't you see I'm thinking? Oh, five. Where, oh, where could you be? Hey, wait a minute. Run! 
Where have you been? Parade hat! You got us parade hats! Thanks, Five! You're the best! <laughs> I missed you, too. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Five. You're more important to me than any toothpaste or toothbrush. I'm sorry. I'm just glad you came back. Let's take these great hats over to the others. Oh, golly. I'm getting all dizzy. It's great to see you, Five. We all missed you. Welcome back. <laughs> Look, guys. Five got us all parade hats. Splendid, Five. Parade Five! Hats, hats for the big parade. We're here for fun, so don't be afraid. Seven little monsters have been found. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We can dance and we can play. We found five hip 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 hooray! Yay! 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 <laughs> what do we win? Sorry. You keep the trophy clown. We have these great hats. Let's go home and tell Mama. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so ends the mystery of the missing five. The best kind of mystery is the one that solves itself. Cut it out, five. Five, quit it. Coming up next on George Shrinks. I found it. I found the mouse. Ah! You're hurt. What happened to your foot? What do you think, Dad? Is it broken? He likes the squeaker from Junior's duck. No, my squeaky. <laughs> and me are going to be the best pals. It's time for your imagination to soar. Express yourself at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. And now, La Bamba with Bookworm Bunch. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. 
Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Klutz? Klutz? Klutz is a proud supporter of learning, education, and dessert. <laughs> and PBS Kids. Bookworm. Yeah. Fudge. Fudge! Klutz, where every kid is perfect. George Shrinks, up next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. The boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. About it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Uh, if a problem should be found, George Shrinks. Uh, he's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Uh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Uh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way to make his dream. Come true each day. His brother Junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. On Sunday mornings, Mom and Dad like to sleep in. It's something that happens when you get old. Anyway, as usual, Junior and I were trying to occupy ourselves in, as Mom says, a quiet and constructive manner. Onward, Bray Jumbo! Onward to the lost temple of the Golden Duck! Slowly now, we must move quietly so we don't alert the evil warriors that guard the temple and its treasure. I'll scan the temple grounds and count the guards. Jumbo! Whoa! <laughs> ah, Junior! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Looks like you popped a squeaker, Junior. <laughs> Sorry to bust up the adventure, boys, but it's breakfast time for Jumbo. Even little elephants need their cereal. Oh, uh, gee, Mom. I didn't know you were up. You know, I always have trouble sleeping through armed conflicts. No squeak, Mom. Oh, and it was your favorite. Just leave Ducky on the bed, Mom. I'll fix him for you, Jumbo. Okay, George. Well, let's eat. Bye, George. See ya, Jumbo. Fix the duck. Fix the duck. How am I gonna fix the duck? <laughs> Uh-oh. 
One squeaker missing in action. Great. Just great. <laughs> we called it a garage, but the only thing that wasn't in there was a car. In fact, looking out into all that dark, I imagined all kinds of things being in there, and most of them had big fangs, bad breath, and an appetite for filet of George. This is when an act of imagination can be a real pain. But I promised Junior I'd fix his duck. That, as Dad says, is the bottom line. because she said it smelled funny. I decided to wait until tomorrow to laugh about that. sprained ankle once. It hurt a lot. My name's George. George Shrinks. I live here. You too, or are you from the outside? That reminds me. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah, sounds just like you. Looks to me like your foot only hurts when you try to move it, huh? What's the matter? I didn't do anything. I want to help. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Sparkle Tangerine, the neighborhood stray. Sparkle Tangerine is one tough pussycat. Yeah, we better hide. Come on, you get in the teacup. I got a plan. someone your own size. You're a lot bigger than me. Also a lot heavier. Heavy enough, I hope. I also hope Sparkle Tangerine wouldn't jump. If she did, I was cat food. <laughs> Leaving Sparkle Tangerine to catch up on her reading, I had no time to waste. I knew there were other things she was more interested in than books. <laughs> see in the dark. I wonder what a little light will do. Perfect. Sparkle Tangerine wasn't giving up, and I was out of ways to try and scare her off. I didn't like to do it, but I had no choice. I'm leaving you, pal. Can't do anything to help you here. Stay put, and don't make a sound. I'll be back with a way out, I promise. Hey, Furball, pick on someone your own side. That's right, come and get the tasty. 
boy. Time to try the new Super Soaker button. To switch from the super plane to the super cargo cup. Uh oh, looks like I hit a snag. Come on, come on. Far, it was an interesting morning. I still hadn't fixed Junior's duck, but I found the lost squeaker and a new friend. What do you think, Dad? Is it broken? No, no, just a sprain. But a bad one, though. We have to make sure it keeps away from Sparkle Tangerine. Can we keep him? A mouse in the house? I don't know. But I've never had a pet my size before. Oh, well, there's the fish. I, you know what I mean. You can't teach a fish to fetch a ball. Let's wait and see. First thing is to let his foot get better. Okay. <laughs> he likes the squeaker from Junior's duck. No, my squeaky. Squeaky! Squeaky! Junior, no! No, no, Junior. Mom, he almost scared the mouse's tail off. He didn't mean to, George. He's too little to know. But still... My squeaky, George. My squeaky. Oh, I know I promised to find his duck, but I think it makes him feel more comfortable. Like he's got a mouse friend near him, you know. Please, Junior. Okay. It's just for a little while, Junior. Just till it gets better, okay? It's okay, fella. Come on, Junior, let's get you a cookie. My squeaky. Now, since I didn't speak his language, he couldn't tell me his name, so I decided to just call him Mouse. I guess because I never had a pet mouse before, I didn't know what they liked to do, so I made sure the secret subterranean mouse base had everything. I recruited the best security men in the business, some all the way from Mars. Even our arch nemesis, Sparkle Tangerine, would have a tough time getting in here. Perimeter secure. Time for interior utility check. Water? Check. Heater? Check Garuni. Air conditioning? Ice cubes? In place. Check, check, and double check. This mouse house has everything. Remember, anything gets in, you hop in the ball and roll to safety. We're ready for anything. You and me are gonna be the best pals. We're gonna have the most fun ever. <gasps> Squeaky ready, want to play? You scared mouse. D don't be scared. Squeaky George. <laughs> hey, take it easy. It's okay. I won't let anything hurt you. Junior, quit it. Leave. No. It's all right. It it's all right. Just stay here. I told you not to scare mouse. You can't just go around scaring the whiskers off him anytime you want. Understand? Take off those elephant ears. They scare Mouse even more. Me no squeaky, me no judge, me no nothing. Uh, are you sure his leg's all better now? Well, it's been a few days. Yeah, Junior's pretty much left us alone. It'll be okay, Mouse. Junior's been a little lonely, George. Steady, steady. <laughs> Go 
ahead. Give it a try. <laughs> wow, look at him go. That looks like one happy mouse. Job well done, Dr. Dad. Thanks, Dad. Mom. <laughs> See ya. Out of water? <laughs> oh, looks like we need a refill. No problem. But while I'm gone, you should get some rest. You're not used to running around like that. Don't want to overdo it. And there's nothing to worry about. Even Sparkle Tangerine couldn't get past the trap I've set up. Junior, you don't want to break the little mousey. Junior could have squished him, Mom, even by accident. Me want squeaky. How about you play in your own room until things get settled? Mm. <sighs> you wrecked our whole secret subterranean mouse base. Oh, I bet the next one will be even better. You need to cut Junior some slack, George. He's pretty patient about getting back a squeaky. You're right, Dad. I've got an idea. A really big one. I bet you do, big guy. Come on, Mouse. I need your help. With Junior keeping his distance, Mouse and I had become a real team. Our adventures together were legendary. Or at least they would be soon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts for the most amazing adventure ever. A George and Mouse Shrinks production of... The Mouse Who Dared in the Adventure of the Golden Duck. Squeaky! 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 <clears throat> oh. The Temple of the Grand High Squeaker was surrounded by invaders. All were after one thing the Golden Duck. <laughs> Sorry. Would no one protect the duck? Would no one keep the squeaker from the hands of evil? No one dared. No one that is, except for George and Wonder Mouse. Oh, brave mouse, use your super rodent powers to sniff out the subterranean passage. This is so exciting. Come on, boy. Keep going, boy. Gadzooks, we're outnumbered a hundred to one. <laughs> oh, sorry. A thousand to one. Come on, let's go. Our only hope is to commandeer yon abandoned mining car and sneak past our fearless foes. But wait, the car is guarded. Take that, you fiend. And that. And that. <gasps> oh, no. Those rascals have foiled our plan. We're doomed. Abandoned ship! <gasps> the Phantom Rooster! Ha! He fears us so much he fainted at the sight of us. We must leap across the fiery gorge to penetrate the inner core of the temple. in all around. 
around. Time is running out. Gotta hurry. Ha! He's left it unguarded. The golden duck is ours. Now we must make our escape. <gasps> the invaders! There is but one hope of escape. To the mouse who dared. And more than that, we saved the golden duck. Bravo! Squeaky! 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 Yay, mousey! Yay, squeaky! <gasps> Yay, for mousey! This time you've really done it, Junior. Your lucky mouse didn't get squished like my super car. The super car was busted up pretty badly thanks to Junior. George. Yeah, Mom. Oh. Yeah, Mom. We finished weeding out back and we're going around to the front. All right. I think Junior understands that he should try not to scare the mouse. And so I'm hoping Mouse won't be so scared of Junior. Okay, Mom. Maybe I was a little tough on Junior. Well, Junior's down for a snap now, so holler if you need us. Plant it now and dig it late. Okay, Dad. Now, back to the old motorboard. Where's my wrench? <laughs> oh. Wait a second. That sounds like... Junior must have snuck out to the backyard. But Mom and Dad are in the front and Junior's out back. Mom! Dad! Junior! Junior! I don't see... Oh, no. The back gate's open. What am I going to do? No good. Aha! Aha! <laughs> helping me. Okay, now hurry. We've got to find Junior. Junior tracks. Yep, he's been this way. Faster, Mouse. All kinds of things could happen to a little guy like him. Faster. Okay. 
Me scare mouse. George love mouse. Me run away now. Oh, Junior, wait! Junior! Junior, where do you think you're going? You can't run away. Me run away. Come, come on, Junior. L let's uh, talk this over, man to man. Brother to brother. Eye to eye. Hey. I guess since Mouse came along, all I've done is, well, kind of yell. <laughs> I can understand how you feel, I think. Well, I know how I feel, and that's not so good. But look, Junior, you saved me and you saved Mouse. And you gotta let us make it up to you. Right, Mouse? Come on, Junior. Say okay. Say okay. 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 Joy, joy, Defeated the treacherous, evil, awesome, fearsome, <laughs> evil, treacherous, really bad, sparkle tangerine. And saved not just his big brother and his faithful mouse, but the whole entire world. And was awarded the Order of the Golden Duck. <laughs> the highest honor in Shrinkland. <laughs> 33 cheers for Junior! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hip hooray! hooray. I guess new friends always seem kind of special, but now I know that, well, when someone makes a new friend, doesn't mean they can forget their old friends. Because you know what? New friends are special, but brothers are even more special. Coming up next on Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. Look, Marvin, I know that tale anywhere. Stripes! Thank goodness we found you! I'm scared, guys. Those sirens haven't stopped all day. Come on, Stripes. We're going home. Uh, I'm not moving. They're out to get me. All right, all right. Calm down. And I can't go back anyway. Jack doesn't want me. No matter how small you are, think big at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. Sing along with Bookworm Bunch. You gotta sing when your spirit says sing. You gotta sing when your spirit says sing. When your spirit says sing, you gotta sing right along. Gotta sing when your spirit says sing. You gotta shout when your spirit says shout. You gotta shout when your spirit says shout. When your spirit says shout, gotta shout right out loud. Gotta shout when your spirit says shout. You gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. You gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. When your spirit says wiggle, gotta wiggle like a worm. Gotta wiggle when your spirit says wiggle. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. When your spirit says shake, gotta shake like a snake. You gotta shake when your spirit says shake. You gotta stop. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Clouch is a proud supporter of learning education. 
Jason Anderson and PBS Kids Bunch Worms. Um, bunch. Klutz, where every kid is perfect. Tap dancing horse, of course. Next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. Hey, gang. I wrote a song about helping. I'd like to sing it for you now. If your head's stuck in a sweater, ask for help. If you can't find the right letter, ask for help. If you find yourself in trouble, ask for help on the double. If you find yourself in trouble, ask for help. And if someone gives you help, remember to say thank you. What do you think about? PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. I'm Marvin, the tap dancing horse. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. When the lights go down, I'm ready. My home up on the stage. I'll dance for you and we'll perform for you too. I'm Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. Dance, you can dance, you can dance. My dad's scarier than that. I thought they'd never leave. When I left the Russian circus, I hopped a cargo ship, and the next thing I knew, I was in Spain. Ah, sunny Spain, Madrid, Toledo, Barcelona. Hiya, Stripes. Eddie. Beautiful cities, and the tapas. Did I ever tell you about them? Delicious little finger foods. Roll over, please. I've got to sweep up. Well, make it snappy. You and Mr. Chatty Horse are cutting into my nap time. Don't you want to hear about Spain? The sun? The sea? The senoritas? I just want my nap. Ah, that reminds me. One time I was taking a little nap on the beach at Mallorca. Some local lads were playing oh. soccer and asked me to join in. Well, having the advantage of two extra legs, plus my natural athletic ability, I scored three goals in quick succession. They offered me a position on the Spanish Olympic team, but naturally I had to turn them down. All done. Sweet dreams. So why did you turn them down, Marvin? It would have been terribly unfair to the other teams. Huh? An eyeball? Super Gobble Gum Contest. Collect all the pieces to complete Mr. Gobble's face and win a fabulous prize. Mmm. Like all you can eat. Hmm. Lips.
watch it, will you? Uh oh. Look, Mom, I'm a big kitty. <gasps> a tiger! Down, you beast! Don't panic. Everything is under control. This is just a sneak preview of our main attraction tonight. Play along or we're both in big trouble. Now back in your cage, you monster! Don't forget to buy your tickets for the big show! A stool. Now that's embarrassing. If I really wanted to eat you, you couldn't stop me with a silly stool. Sorry, Stripes, it was all I had. What were you doing out there? Jack would have a fit if he caught you scaring his customers. I, um, wanted to go for a walk. Under a wash tub? I thought it might rain. Will you promise to stay in your cage? All right, but do me a favor, kid. When you're done collecting the garbage, bring it all here. You want the garbage? I'm very interested in garbage. You are? Yes, I am. Oh, all right. Why not? Thank you. Stripes. A cheek, a chin, another ear. I only need one more piece. <clears throat> one more piece of what? <laughs> Nothing. Get me garbage, Eddie. I need more garbage. There isn't any more. All right, then. Uh, say, Eddie, would you do me another little favor? What do you want now? Buy me some gum. Gobble gum. Sure. There should be $18.97 here. Get as much as you can. Where did you get all this change? Kids throw coins at me all the time to wake me up. Now, now go! I think you should tell me what's going on first. All right, all right. But don't tell the other animals. I promise. I'm collecting gum wrappers to win a contest. What'll you win? A fabulous prize. But what is it? Something fabulous, of course. Aren't you paying attention? If you get me more gum, I'll share the prize with you. Super gobble gum coming right up. <laughs> Hey, Eddie, what you doing? Hi, Marvin. Nothing much. What you got in the bag? Sounds like money. Where'd you get it? What's it for? Can't tell you. Can't tell me? Why not? Because. Because why? Because I promised. Well, I guess you can't go around blabbing then. You've got to keep it a secret if you made a promise to someone. <sighs> Who was it exactly, Eddie? Who did you make a promise to? Oh, yes, well, good for you. You're doing the right thing. <sighs> Hi, Edna. Hiya, boys. What's up? Eddie here's got a secret. Secret? Who's got a secret? Not me. I'm just here to buy some gum. Gobble gum. 379 pieces, please. <laughs> Coming right up. Let me see. Ah! Oh, there's about a hundred pieces in here. I'll give you the rest when I get more in. Thanks. Don't be sticking it under any chairs. Where are you going? Nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Just going to enjoy my gum. All right, then. All right, then. You're following me. No, we're Certainly not. Not. Hi, hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth.
lost him. Someone made him promise. If it wasn't any of us, it was probably Stripes. Thanks, kid. I bought all the gum she had. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, huh? uh -huh, what? What's going on? I told you not to tell anyone. I didn't. Tell anyone what? I was collecting gum wrappers to win a fabulous prize. A prize? <laughs> You've got an awful lot of gum there. Need any help? All right, I'll share the prize with you. But not all of it. I still get the biggest share. Always glad to help a friend in need. Anything for good old stripes. Oh, this will be so much fun! Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Keep looking! Aren't you going to help? I'm in charge of the puzzle pieces. Keep chewing. My jaw is sore. This gum tastes like cardboard. I don't feel very well. Uh, I hate gum! <sighs> Never mind all that. Just think of the prize. Here's one. A chin. It's a chin. I don't need a chin. I've got 35 chins. I need a nose. Ah! Take it easy, Stripes. You don't even know what the prize is. I don't have to know. It's fabulous. That's enough for me. Hey, don't any of you have any work to do? Oh, Eddie, don't forget to order some more gobble gum. I noticed Edna's sold out. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I bought this piece earlier. Huh, some guy's nose. What do you know? Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've got his nose! The fabulous prize is mine! Yours? We didn't chew all this gum for nothing, you know. I meant to say ours. Hooray! You just have to be patient. It'll come when it comes. It's been weeks. My fabulous prize should be here by now. And it is! Special delivery for Stripes the Tiger. <gasps> ah, finally. Someone get me a crowbar. Wait. Before you open it, this is for you. It is? I made it to honor the occasion. Ooh. It's you, Stripes. I made it out of all that gum we chewed. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, already. Open the crate. Funny. It doesn't smell like a chicken dinner. Chicken dinner? Why would the prize be chicken dinner? It's a fabulous prize, isn't it? What else would it be? Well, we'll never know if you don't open it up. Well, what is it? It would seem that I, uh, I mean we, have won a lifetime supply of gum. Gobble gum. Oh! That reminds me, I never did finish my story about Spain. After I turned down the Spanish Olympic soccer team, I went on tour and performed my flamenco for the king of Spain himself. Stripes, I've told you 500 times. If anybody sees you out of that cage, they'll close me down. Well, excuse me. I guess I'm not appreciated around here. Maybe the carnival would be better off without me. You said it, I didn't. Now, get back in the cage. I've got a carnival to run. Mm -mm. That hit the spot. I wonder why Stripes didn't join us. I passed him on the midway.
I think there was something bothering him, but I didn't want to ask. <laughs> ah, you know, Stripes, Elizabeth probably stepped on his tail or something. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I told him I'd get his crunchy critters ready. They don't look crunchy anymore. He likes them like this. They're so soggy you can hardly tell the elephants from the giraffes. See? Yuck! Why don't we deliver his lunch? That ought to brighten his day. Good idea, Marvin. Hey, Stripes, where are you? I've got your soggy critters. Well, he can't be too far. His cage door's open. Oh, Marvin, Eddie, there's something wrong with Stripes. I just know it. That's what I said, remember? He just walked over to me and said, see you around, and he gave me this. The key to his cage? Oh, see you around. You know what that means. He's gone! Stripes is gone! Oh. oh, Elizabeth, calm down. We don't know that. Maybe he just gave you an extra key so you could drop in whenever you want. Well, okay, maybe that's a stretch, but I can't see Stripes leaving. I just can't. He loves it here. We're like one big happy family. What about his Mr. Grizzly Bear? Hey! You're right. He wouldn't go anywhere without him. Yeah. If Mr. Grizzly's here, Stripes will be back by nap time for sure. It's gone. What? Oh, and so is Stripes. Oh. Eddie, we'd better find Jack. Jack, we, we can't find Stripes. His cage is... Empty. And his Mr. Grizzly's gone. We think he ran away. <sighs> I told him to get back in his cage. He gave me an argument, and I said some things I probably shouldn't have. Gee, Jack, we know you didn't mean it. Yeah, well, I guess that'll teach me not to say things I don't mean. You'll have to talk to him and straighten the whole thing out. I have to find him first. And the sooner the better. Out there, everyone will think he's ferocious. Hmm, you're right, Eddie. I'd better phone the police before someone else does. Oh, dear. I miss Stripes already. I'd give anything to hear just one. Oh, dry up, Elizabeth. Oh. I'm really worried. What will he eat? Mm, hard to say, but 32 chickens won't be easy to find. There won't be anyone to pluck the fat. Oh, you know how upset Stripes gets if he finds even one tiny feather on his chicken. Guys, guys! Jack told me the police formed a posse. They're out searching in the woods for Stripes. We interrupt this broadcast for an important bulletin. Please remain in your homes. There is a 400-pound Bengal tiger at large. We repeat, please remain in your homes. How cold and impersonal can you get? His name is Stripes. I didn't know he was from Bengal. I didn't know he weighed 400 pounds. Oh, we were just getting to know him. Oh! Oh, dear. Sirens. Poor stripes. We have to do something. What should we do, Eddie? We have to find him and bring him back. Let's go. Hold on, Diamonds. People won't take kindly to a tiger and an elephant on the loose. Marvin and I will go. All right. We'll sit right beside the phone. Be careful, you two. Stripes may have good night vision, but I doubt he's gonna like it out here in the dark. Yeah, I'll bet he's scared. Psst. Hold it, Eddie. Did you hear something? Hear something? Shh. Listen. Psst. I heard that. Psst. Over here. Look, Marvin. I know that tale anywhere. Stripes! 
Thank goodness we found you! I'm scared, guys. Th those sirens haven't stopped all day. Come on, Stripes. We're going home. Uh, I'm not moving. They're out to get me. All right, all right, calm down. And I can't go back anyway. Jack doesn't want me. That's not true. He wants you back. Really? Really. He's sorry about saying something he didn't really mean. Did you bring anything to eat? No, but I'll get us something. There's a diner just down the road. Bring me the usual, Eddie. 32 chickens? You'll have to settle for one. I'll get a burger. Don't worry about me. I'll just nibble on something around here. Okay, I'll be back as fast as I can. Ooh. Yes, we found him. He's fine. Calm down, Elizabeth. What? Well, no, he didn't say he misses you, but I'm sure he does. Yep, everyone's okay. Marvin and I are bringing him back in the morning. I just need some time to calm him down. One jumbo lemonade, one roast chicken, and a burger to go. I gotta go. Bye. Thanks, lady. Cute kid. Here's the food. This is nice. A moonlight picnic. Boy, am I hungry. Eddie, I'm still hungry. Here. <laughs> I'll be okay till morning. I'm still hungry. Here. Try some sassafras leaves. They're not bad. I'm hungry, but I'm not that hungry. Tomorrow we'll get you 64 chickens. Right now, we need to get some sleep. <sighs> I am sleepy. Good night, Marvin. Good night, Eddie. Eddie? Mm? Do you think it'll be all right tomorrow? With the police, I mean? Jack's had plenty of time to tell them to call off the search. Don't worry, it'll be fine. the guys around yes it is isn't it i can't wait until they're back home safe and sound we interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special announcement from police chief klutz Ouch. <clears throat> sorry this is police chief klutz we've just been informed that the runaway tiger has been located and will be returned to the carnival down the old country road did you hear that? They're on their way home! We ask the public to please stay out of the area so as not to aggravate this dangerous beast. Thank you! Dangerous? Stripes? Why, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Uh. Move, Stripes. They're out to get me, Eddie. So help me, Stripes, if you don't move... Where's my Mr. Grizzly? He's right here. No, I'm not kidding. Let's move. Okay, if, if you're sure. We're, We're sure. sure. Uh, you're the only one making noise. Stay calm. There's a lot of people along the sides of the road. What do you think they want? Steady. They're just here to see you. I'm scared, Eddie. Just keep moving, Stripes. Everything's going to be fine. 
Think about those 64 chickens waiting for you. Oh, I couldn't eat a bite. Nothing to see here, folks. There's no show today. <gasps> Get back, everyone. Get back. Easy. Easy. It's all right. You just took your picture. Don't you want to see your picture in the paper? I just want to get past all these people. Don't worry, Stripes. We're almost there. There you go, Stripes. The door's wide open. Stripes? Not bad. How are things going with you, Jack? Well, check out that crowd. Couldn't be better. Great to have you back, Stripes. It's great to be back, Jack. <laughs> Just grabbing a bite before showtime. You were really great today, Eddie. We were really great today, Marvin. We were, weren't we? Coming up next on Corduroy. I'm going to make a card for Lisa, so she can have a special delivery too. Imagination go wild at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. Dance a jig with Bookworm Bunch. I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street. Very good friend I chanced to meet. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Rig a jig jig and away we go, away we go, away we go. Rig a jig jig and away we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. We tapped our hands and stomped our feet, stomped our feet. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Clouds is a, is a proud, proud supporter of learning education and PBS Kids Bookworm. Clutch. Clutz, where every kid is perfect. Stay right there. He's a honey of a bear that always manages to find trouble. Corduroy's next on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. Oh, 
that's just the thing to do we do do cause see if it's raining you can make the sky blue and use your imagination PBS Kids and you small to use other paint colors? I like blue. <sighs> Ah, Corduroy, rain does not come from the sun. The rain comes from the clouds. It's not rain. The sun's sad. Is everything okay? Stay and paint with me, Lisa. I have school today. Don't you want to play with me? Don't you like hearing about what I've learned in school? I guess. And Buckaroo and Rosetta are here, so you won't feel lonely. I guess. But I still really miss you when you're gone. Don't be blue. It's a perfect day. Who's that? Oh, that's the mailman. He delivers cards and letters all over the city. He looks happy. Maybe it's his birthday and someone sent him a card. Ooh la la! Perhaps someone sent him a valentine. Or maybe someone's just writing him to say hey. Do only special people get mail? Everyone can get mail. But sometimes getting mail can make you feel, you know, special. <sighs> I'll be right back. Right under the kitchen sink. It's not leaking badly. I've put a bowl there to catch the drips, but if you could check it out. Yes, I'm working from home today. This morning will be great. Thanks, Pandro. Bye. To Corduroy. This should help cheer him up. That'll be Moppy and his dad waiting for you in the lobby. What's that? Just something so Corduroy doesn't feel so lonely when I'm not here. Good idea. But you'd better get a move on. You'll be late for school. Are you going now? Uh-huh. But I'll be back from school before you know it. Mwah. Have a great day. Bye, Lisa. Uh, Rosetta and I are here. We'll play with you. Oui, bien sûr, but of course. We can listen to some music. There's lots of storybooks, Corduroy. Okay, then. Uh, how about hide-and-seek? Hide-and-seek is a game I am very good at. Je suis formidable. Okay, I'll be it. So, you start hiding. Hey, what's this? Corduroy, it's for you. For me? I think it's for Lisa. 
is it you are waiting for? Open it! Oh, allow me to try. What is it? This must be a special delivery from Lisa. I've always wanted a special delivery. Know what? I'm going to make a card for Lisa so she can have a special delivery too. Where should we put it? Where does the mailman put the mail? Well, uh, there's a whole bunch of mailboxes downstairs. Magnifique! I have not gone on a roundabout for many a day. Hello, Z, let's go! gonna do <gasps> don't move Lisa knows better than to leave her toys in the hallway hi Pandro how's it going fine thanks come on in hmm now let's see what we have here Go down. Then push the down button. Feet, feet, quickly, if you please. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Uh, I can't uh, reach. Oh, please. Try something else. Ah. Are you okay? But of course not. Hey, try this. Going down. I must be a mailman. I've always wanted to be a mailman. Everyone looks happy. It means someone is thinking about you. Wait to give Lisa her special delivery. I can't rock that high. I can't jump that high. Allah, let's see what I can see. Cordroy? Buckaroo? Can you push the vacuum cleaner closer to the wall? A silver play, please? Oh, this must be a ladder. Exactement. We will make this vacuum cleaner a ladder. You be careful, you two. You better wind me up. Okay. Stop. Can you see Lisa's mailbox? Oui, yes. Turn it off. Hurry. 
Somebody's coming. Hi! I thought I heard the vacuum cleaner. Oh no, not again. I have never felt so small until now. How are we gonna go up? <gasps> Uh-oh. <gasps> How very strange. Hi, Mrs. Chow. Oh, good morning. I think Lisa forgot her toys. They were in the elevator. But last I looked, they were right there. <laughs> it's not as if they can walk out on their own. Thanks, Mrs. Chow. You're welcome. Now you stay put, all right, Corduroy? I don't want Lisa thinking her old mom can't take care of her toys. I hope Lisa likes her surprise. Hold on a second, Lisa. I just want to check the mail. Uh, hurry, please. I want to see Corduroy. It's your lucky day. You've got mail. Corduroy, I'm home. I love your picture. I don't feel so sad anymore. Your special delivery helped. So did Buckaroo and Rosetta. We've got monsters, a moose, and a tiny boy, a tap-dancing horse, and a talking bear toy, a little raccoon who goes to school. The PBS Kids bookworm bunch is too cool. Bookmark your station for more storybook adventures next time on the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. Let your imagination run wild at the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch website at pbskids.org. And now sing along with Bookworm Bunch. Skid a ring a ding a ding skid a ring a do I love Skid a ring a ding a ding, skid a ring a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, I love you. PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch is made possible in part by the support of the following. Play School. Welcome to a place of learning and imagination. A place of wonder, exploration, and fun. Isn't that what childhood is all about? Play School, a proud supporter of PBS Kids. Fun forever. 
everyone. This program is made possible in part by Microsoft Windows Media Player, the all